What's up everybody, this is Retro Reviews Plus coming at you once again with another video. And I don't know if you can tell there, it's a nice day outside and there's my lawnmower. And I just cut a little bit of area today. I'm not done. I just didn't have much gas in the mower so I just did a little patch there. But anyways, that's not enough of that. Uh, it's not what we're talking about today so let's go ahead and go inside let's go and get in the nice air conditioning it's kind of warm outside but today a package came and I'm kind of excited about it as you can see the QVC logo on the uh, right hand side there this is uh, I haven't unboxed it yet so this is going to be an unboxing video. Uh, I ordered the um, Mir Miracle Meatloaf Pan by Chef Tony from QVC. So let me set up a tripod here and we'll, uh, we'll unbox this thing and take a look at it. Okay, we're back here. Got the tripod set up. And I got my... Miracle Blade utility knife here, also by, from Chef Tony from years ago. Um, I've only had them about six months though, but uh, they're good knives nonetheless. So let's open this bad boy. Yeah, I, I like meatloaf, but I, you know I haven't fixed it that often just because, I mean, the traditional way of doing it, it just kind of sits in the grease. Uh, so the, so that how, that's how it comes there. I did read a lot of online reviews about this product. I used, usually try to do that with anything I buy online. You know, look at the reviews of others and just see if you know it has an overall good rating. That I don't think I've seen one bad uh, review about this product, so that that was encouraging. So here's the uh, Miracle Meatloaf Pan recipes, and there's. There's Chef Tony's uh, trademark logo there. So yeah, I think there's like 20, 20 some recipes in here. Of uh, now this is a you know where you're basically stuffing the meatloaf with something. Uh, so let's just see what the first. Okay, first he tells you what he uses for his beef mix. And then his uh, mama Jen, G, Gina's meatloaf mix. So let's, let's just pick, see what we can find here that sounds interesting. Here's one that says Thanks, Thanksgiving Day stuffing. Mama's stuffed manicotti stuffing. Asparagus cordon bleu. That sounds interesting. Mexican meltdown. Greek isle stuffing. Loaded baked potato stuffing. Papa Frank's Italian stuffing. Tony's cold cut stuffing. I thought that was a little different. I never would have thought of putting cold cuts in there, but maybe it's good. I don't know. Slamming mac and cheese stuffing, that, that would always be a good good favorite. Cheesy broccoli stuffing. Pepperoni pizza stuffing. I know I'd like that one probably. Aunt Nancy stuffing. That's kind of what I like to chef, uh, about Chef Tony. He, he shares his and his family family's uh, recipes there. 
Annie's Inside Out Stuffed Pepper Stuffing. Huh. Oh, and here's uh, something about meatloaf. Meatloaf glazes, okay. Maple syrup glaze, orange marmalade, white wine sauce. So it's pretty cool. You got, you know, in case you're not too imaginative yourself or don't have any ideas, there's there's a good place to start. So it looks like here's some instruction. Looks like the instructions of how to use it. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to the product itself. Make sure you guys can still see this here. It's wrapped in some like shrink wrap here. Of course, you'll want to, you know, you'll want to wash anything you get like this um, when you first get it. I just always think it's best to do that. I mean, it's, you know, it's. I mean, even though it's in a shrink wrap, it's still. I don't know. Still a good idea, I think. sticky. So here's the top of it and it, well not really the top but this is what you use to um, create the stuffing or to create the hole exact, uh, rather. This little you know thing right here this rectangular shape you just push that down and that creates the cavity or the hole or whatever you want to call it and then when you get your meatloaf stuffed, then you gotta, you know, top it, get your beef, and you know, seal it basically. So then you would turn it up, you know, turn it like this, and press like that, and that's what seal, seals it in there. So here is the like, I guess, little tray or whatever you want to call it that the that the meatloaf sits on. Let's see if you get a good look at it there. And those holes, you know, that's what makes this healthier is because those holes, um, you know, you just, you just set it down in there like that. And, the, you know, this is elevated up off the bottom of the pan and you know the the grease and all the the grease and the fat just drips down through those holes and that way your meatloaf's not just sitting in the grease and soaking it back in because it will like a sponge but and, and then here's the, here's the meatloaf pan itself uh, it's a good sturdy pan I'm, I'm impressed with that I thought maybe it would be kind of you know th um, not not as durable, maybe kind of, uh, I don't want to say chintzy, but, you know, not not a heavy-duty feel. This actually has a heavy-duty feel to it. I'm impressed. And I, I got this on QVC.com uh, on the website. It was actually on sale for, like, we'll just call it $13. I think it was, you know, $12.97. And I just went ahead and, you know, paid paid for it all but they even gave you the option of um, like doing a they call it easy pay on there where you could break it up into two payments to like two monthly payments of you know under it wouldn't be under um, seven dollars so <laughs> that's that's pretty cool they're even willing to do that but I just went in and paid the 13 bucks because you know I mean that's not bad that's cool it has a shift I don't know if you can see that, but it has Chef Tony's logo even at the bottom of the pan. So, so basically, you make make your meatloaf, set it down. You set it down in the set this tray down in there. Use this thing to create your cavity to stuff it. Then once you get your stuffing in there, put your beef on top of it and make you know to your top layer to seal it. And then you take the thing back in, and press down, and 
seal it real good. So I'm anxious to try this out. Uh, maybe when I make some meatloaf, I'll, I'll do a video on, on that and, and uh, that way you guys can see how it turns out. <clears throat> so anyways, hope you enjoyed this little unboxing video. It's, um, I always like to, you know, I'm always curious and enjoy learning about new products and things like this. You know, stuff that can improve, basically improve your life, you know. It's, like I said, this is a healthier way to cook meatloaf. That way you're not getting all that grease and fat that's, you know, that, that you know comes out of the meat when you're cooking it. So, anyways, guys, uh, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think of this product. Maybe you've tried it out or know someone who has has this product and uh, let me know what you think and we'll uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can so anyways guys click like click subscribe uh, that way you'll be uh, notified when I do upload new videos so anyways guys until next time have a good one